Good morning. Uh, this is Home Heating Week uh, in the House of Representatives. Uh, the House is going to pass a series of bills this week, has already begun last night, to lower the cost for families uh, using electricity, gas, and propane to heat their homes. I don't think any part of the country, save for maybe a very few in the southern tip of Florida, has uh, avoided the wrath of this winter. Home heating bills in many instances are twice that which they normally are. The bills that we're passing to increase the energy supply here in the United States will help bring down energy costs, home heating costs for working families. We've got to help folks, and that's what we're trying to do. The Democrats should join us in this effort to help bring down heating costs. We also see that hardworking Americans um, are struggling under the President's health care bill. They don't need to see 1 percent of their salary taxed because they can't navigate a failing Obamacare bureaucracy. And as Lynn Jenkins just said, we are going to pass her bill uh, that will make the mandate penalty zero for the rest of this year. And that is something that is about simple fairness. You know, this president, uh, as it was reported this week, will delay more of Obamacare uh, and it's been reported to, quote, help the Democrats in their midterm. And I'm just at a loss to, uh, to, to wonder why it is the president think that he can get away with this. The next question is, would a Republican president get away with this in his term? Could the next president, as a Republican, delay Obamacare, cancel provisions of the law? That's what's going on, and the questions aren't even being asked. And I've got to also wonder if the bill's supporters are so worried uh, about voters seeing what the law is about in its implementation, what about the families that aren't getting the favored treatment? That's what we're about. Lynn Jenkins' bill, the Simple Fairness Act, is about dealing with the plight of the working families while this president has exempted businesses, delayed the things for perhaps those that he's deemed deserve, deserving, we're here for the working families to make sure they get the same treatment. Uh, and finally, the House will be discussing ways that we can help Ukraine's government while putting significant pressure on Russia to stop the flagrant aggression uh, to its neighbor and its neighbor in Ukraine. The world community should stand united against this invasion. America should be leading, and we'll vote soon on legislation to help aid uh, the Ukrainian people. House Republicans are about an America that works, an America that leads.